Hello friends, uh, this is Durga again from IT University, one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about CCP data engineer, um, uh, the uh, transform stage store. Um, before getting into the uh, uh, individual tasks, first we need to prepare the environment so that we can actually play with these things. To prepare the environment, first we need to make sure that uh, we have data set available and for that I will be running a scoop command to load data from the MySQL database into a Hive database, um, uh, default Hive database and then uh, we will actually uh, see the rest of the stuff. So to, to, uh, to copy the data, make sure uh, uh, you use this command. Uh, so you, you can go to my uh, uh, GitHub repository and go to code Hadoop EDW Cloudera scoop and scoop underscore demo dot txt and in, at the 83rd line you have import all tables. Um, which will actually import all the tables and make sure you don't use compression while importing. Just ignore the compression portion of it uh, and also change the uh, IP address. Uh, probably number of mappers instead of one I will be using uh, two uh, and then uh, we will uh, uh, run the rest of the command without compression uh, uh, related stuff. So copy this one paste it here, make sure you connect to the uh, terminal either using web console or uh, putty or SSH terminal and connect to the lab using the lab credentials provided as part of the Cloudex lab if you are using Cloudex lab. If you are using uh, quick start VM just log in as uh, log into the uh, quick start launch the terminal and uh, you can run this command as is you don't need to change uh, IP address etc. But if you are uh, doing this on Cloudex lab you have to change this uh, IP address. So number of mappers 2 and then uh, I want to connect to a MySQL database in Cloudex lab. For that go to my lab, go to MySQL credentials here and this is the host name which you need to use as part of the command and port number is 3306 and retail underscore db is the database from which we want to copy the data okay and then username is retail underscore dba we have database retail underscore db and user retail underscore dba in cloudx lab password if you don't want to show the password type hyphen capital p to prompt for the password uh, in this case, password is IT varsity for the Cloudex lab. For uh, uh, Quick Start VM, password is Cloudera. You don't need to worry about changing it. And then Hive import Hive overwrite create Hive table. So all the tables will be created in Hive once we run the scoop command. Uh, and then we don't want to use uh, uh, compression. I just want to specify this out dir and hit enter. Now the scoop import will run and it will copy data for all the tables from the MySQL database into Hive. So the Hive import command failed because uh, uh, the tables are already existing in the default database. So most likely we will run into the same issue when you are using uh, uh, Cloudex lab. Hence, first you need to create a database for yourself and you have to copy uh, all the tables into that. So you, uh, just launch Hive by running Hive command here and uh, run this command create database training 8634. Whatever username uh, I have, I am creating the database with the same name and now the database is created and now I will import the data into this. Okay, so on top of all the parameters, you have to say Hive database training 8634 and hit enter. So because uh, we try to copy a layer um, and uh, this directory called categories is created as part of the import command, but before um, but uh, the import failed and uh, this is not uh, uh, cleaned up. So you might run into the same issue if you follow my instructions. If you try to uh, create uh, uh, tables in the default database, if the import fails, 
even uh, the import tall tables uh, again will fail with this error uh, category is already exists for that what you have to do is hadoop fs minus ls sorry make sure you uh, what you have under the uh, directory your uh, slash user slash the user id which you try to connect so this and this are same so you have to go to that directory and see if there are uh, uh, these files uh, which are matching with the table names such as departments categories etc so there is one such directory so we have to remove this so hadoop fs rm uh, hyphen capital r and paste this and hit enter now the directory will be removed now i will run the import all tables with hive database with uh, uh, the name is the same as what we have created uh, just a few minutes back and hit enter now the import all tables command will try to uh, load data from all the six mysql tables into our uh, database training 8634 um, uh, as part of uh, uh, this command so let it run and then we will review so the import is done um, i can launch hive and then use training 8634 and hit enter I typed when it is launching so it is scattered typically you need to wait until hive is completely launched and then you can type use uh, the database name which we have created earlier and then run show tables and you will see all the six tables here if the input is successful we can also review the data select star from departments is the smallest table so i am running select star from departments to preview the data it has the two columns and six rows everything is displayed here so now we have actually imported the data in cloudx lab uh, if you um, if you directly come to the hive portion of it make sure you at least understand the scoop import all tables command to load the data into hive so that you can perform the rest of the tasks as part of this category if you already familiar with scoop make sure you have all the six tables if not uh, you can actually drop the database recreate the database and uh, 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 run the command uh, to uh, to import all the tables from mysql to uh, hive so now we have all the six tables going forward we will see how these six tables can be used to explore most of the tasks that are uh, highlighted as part of this uh, uh, category so first we will convert data from one file format to another and then compression then rest of the stuff that being said I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about certifications or big data, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVST-Certifications or ITVST-Big Data. And uh, uh, finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And if you live in countries such as US, UK, where fan funding and support this channel is available, you can visit my uh, channel page and you will see support this channel section here and you can support as much money as you want so that i can come up with more and more content like this over time thank you bye